Yeah, hey guys, how you doing? Uh, we might uh, show you our Christmas tree pretty soon. Uh, <laughs> we finally got our hooks for hanging the ornaments, so, uh, you know. <laughs> so, we'll be able to get our Christmas tree up in time for February, maybe. And we can show you what we got. So, be sure and check my channel later to get a load of our Christmas tree. A Valentine's Day tree, whatever. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty tired. Uh, it's, you know, near the end of the day for me. So, here I am finally getting around to making video. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Um, geez. Uh, I don't want to talk about anything serious. Because, you know, I'm so tired. I probably wouldn't be able to follow my line of thought. So, uh, let's see. I don't know. I could talk more about Roger. But he's really not that interesting. But he's very trashy, so, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so, we could, it'd be kind of like a Jerry Springer edition today of, of my, uh, well, every, everything concerning Roger is a Jerry Springer uh, special edition, because that guy, you might wonder, like, well, that was, like, such a disgusting weirdo, I was like, why are you f hanging out with him, and I don't know, it's like, it was just, like, I didn't, I don't know, I just, I just didn't really know too many people, so and I had a very small handful of people I kept in touch with after high school, I guess, and plus we both like, you know, like drawing and, you know, cartoons, <laughs> you know, so um, that must be it, but, you know, I tell you more about some of the stuff about this guy, it's like, you know, you're probably going to rightfully think, like, what a repulsive human being, and I would have to say I would agree, uh, he got on my nerves a lot, we used to, he used to get on my nerves a lot, and we were, you know, constantly arguing about stuff. Plus, as I already told you, he wasn't he wasn't uh, terribly honest or trustworthy either. And anyway, so <clears throat> Roger, yeah, so he was like really weird. He was also like uh, very devious, like uh, sexually too. Um, he seemed to have an obsession with, like, prepubescent girls, I seem to recall. Of course, the only reason I know all this stuff is because, like I told you, he was a chatterbox. He was constantly talking, never shut up. I mean, you know, it was just everyone used to joke about how the guy just couldn't shut up for two seconds, and it was true. He was constantly talking. So a person like that, you know, isn't going to be able to, you know, keep, keep things to himself, even things that he really should keep to himself. Um... Uh, yeah, and, uh, okay, this is going to get on some, like, really bizarre stuff about this guy, Roger. Uh, see, he was adopted, see, he was adopted, he was put up for adoption, and he was adopted by some, uh, well-to-do, uh, a family that lived in Toluca Lake, which is, like, you know, a really, I guess, swanky part of Burbank. Uh, but then it's at some point, uh, his, uh, birth mother got back in touch with him, and I guess he started spending time with his real, his natural mother and her boyfriend, who are a couple of real fucking sick freaks themselves. No surprises, though, you know, blood will tell. Um, anyway, yeah, so, okay, this guy, he, he's, he, he had this, 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 her, her, his, his, his mother's boyfriend, I guess was, I forget, he, hmm, I think there's Tom, Oh, I think might have actually been his real father. I'm not sure. He was like a hick. And he was like really abusive and stuff. He used to tell me stories about him. Maybe I'll touch on some of that later. But this other guy that his mom was seeing, I don't remember his name. But he was like a real, real degenerate. He apparently had an enormous like 14 inch long penis. And he would like hang out in the living room. Uh, without any pants on, and this was back in the day when they broadcast like scrambled, uh, you know, television stations. Like, she had to have like a cable box and scramble the stuff. Of course, like, he was too, either too cheap or too poor to get a, get a cable box. So, he would like watch the squiggly scrambled station, the porn stuff, and like, you know, sometimes it would like go into focus and show something for like, you know, like like a minute or something like that. And then he was like hurriedly start like beating off while, while the, the naked girl appeared up on the screen or something like that. And apparently he's like sit there and like actually just like watch this stuff and like sucking his own penis, which is pretty freaking sick. But like what, one of the really sick things that, that, that things, I guess Roger, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't raised by his birth mother. And so they got back in touch. So they him and his birth mother and her 
her John Holmes boyfriend uh, would like have like three-way sex. That's <laughs> pretty friggin' sick. I mean, you know, but that that was that was Roger. He was a real weirdo. Um, I remember like uh, he was actually uh, carrying having an affair with his uh, brother's uh, brother Phil with 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 his wife. I remember. Um, I think I was over at their place one time, and I think they were trying to get something going with with his wife. His his brother was wife. His brother wasn't there. His brother was off at work as usual. So I guess Roger was trying to like get something going with with the three of us being Roger, me, and 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 his brother's wife. But you know I, you know, it's just too weird for me. So I, I opted out of that. Um, yeah, I opted out of a lot of Roger's suggestions because he was a pretty sick person. Like, he would, like, talk about how he wanted to abduct some, <laughs> some girl and take her up into hills and rape her and stuff like that. And, um, and you, know, you think, like, well, that's just some, some idiot, like, talking. But, you know, Roger was, you know, he's like one of these people, like, you know, you read about serial killers, about how they, they usually study up on police procedures and how they investigate crimes and how they do interrogations and stuff. And that's exactly what Roger was like. So I don't know, maybe he did some of that stuff, but was, but I doubt it, though, because, like I said, he wasn't able to keep a secret. But he did actually manage to convince those cops that, that, that he didn't steal the Radio Shack deposit when he did. So I don't know, maybe he's a little bit more slick than I gave him credit for. But, um... Yeah, Roger is pretty sick. Um, and I don't know what to say about Roger. I'm, like, really tired, and, uh, yeah, I really don't know what to say about Roger. So I guess, I don't even know if I'll post this video. It's kind of lame, actually. Anyways, see you guys next video. <laughs> Bye.